All right, everyone. So I'm just going to take a second here and show you guys how we can um, save our breadboards and upload those to Schoology. So anytime that we finish a breadboard, we're going to go through this process to submit it to Schoology um, for me to basically check it out and grade it um, and make sure that everything works as it should. So before you submit your final breadboard, you should always go through your simulation um, and basically make sure that the circuit is functioning or the breadboard um, and circuit are functioning the way that they should uh, and that's going to be an easy way to kind of identify if everything's correct or if you may have made a mistake in there but once everything is done and you're good to go you are able to basically create a jpeg or a picture of your finished breadboard and submit that to schoology so to do that, you're just going to come up to the upper right hand corner of Tinkercad um, and we're going to see an icon that says share. It's going to be right below your profile logo. Um, so we can just see that icon that says share and click right there. Once we click on that, it's going to open up a new window for us. Um, it's going to show us like a small little like snapshot of our breadboard. And right next to it, we'll see this kind of gray circle. Um, that's kind of our download icon. Um, so we can click on this gray icon here, this gray and white icon, and our picture um, will download. So from here, we can drag and drop our download to our desktop, um, and that way we know exactly where it is. It's easily accessible. Or we can select our image. It's going to open up full screen, um, and we would be able to right-click on our image, and click save as and save this um, in a spot where we will basically be able to find it again. Um, so we get save as, save it as the project name, and then upload that to Schoology. So whether you um, just drug the picture to your desktop, um, or if you went through this way and went to save as, uh, basically you would upload that picture like you would upload any assignment or document um, to Schoology. So you would just put it in the corresponding assignment folder and you would be good to go.